Good evening, this is Bell Geode, and we are back with some more Skyrim VR, and that weird humming noise that you're hearing, that's that thing. That is some kind of portal. So, we are back playing through the mod, The Grey Cowl of Nocturnal, and we made it to the second portal, so I guess technically this is the end of the first room. You can see the room of fire that we went through in the last episode, which was... Kind of a little bit nerve-wracking, shall we say. And I just finished looting those treasure chests there. We happened to find a journal from a guy by the name of Chow Umbranox, who apparently is the one who set us on this path of the thief, as it were. So before we hop into the portal, I did go into water just to check to see if there was anything there. There was nothing there. Nocturnal doesn't say anything or do anything. And our good buddy, the uh, Gray Fox, it, it's just there for decoration, basically. But I do want to kind of check out these side rooms here just to see if there may be any treasure that we might have missed. Yep, sure enough. Aha. And this seems to be pretty much stock standard as far as what we've been getting for treasure. But you know what? I am not going to complain because I can always use more ingots. Definitely can use more gems. Because I can, of course, sell those and get some money. And all that miscellaneous stuff. Alright. Uh, oh, wow. I didn't even see this room when I came in the first time. What do we have in here? like water on either side and holy crap somebody just laid out a whole bowl full of gems there and of course I just threw them all over the damn place seriously come on Bill uh, is that a sapphire over there there is definitely a sapphire there I'm just gonna throw that off the table flawless sapphire come to dada thank you is there anything on the ground that I may have dropped I don't know I don't see anything there. Now, what is under here? Ooh! Ooh! I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. And did any gems drop in here? No, it doesn't look like any did. So we're just going to hop back up here. And hopefully there's another treasure chest on this side. There is! I love it when a plan comes together. I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, wait, what is this? Flawless diamond. Yep, mine. And flawless garnet. So it's like one of each gem, basically. I'm okay with that. I'm very much okay with that. All right, as far as the rest of the stuff, I am going to leave it there because it makes no difference to me. Okay, so that should be about everything for this room. And let me see what time it is, because I already know that I'm way late for dinner. So, uh, yeah. It's 11.20 p.m. Oh, boy. Yeah, I hope Tanya's not waiting up for me, because something tells me this is going to lead me to some other place where I have no idea where we are. Okay, now where are we? Well, there's a portal ring, or at least I think that is supposed to be a portal ring. And what do we have here? Mm, almost looks like a cross between a bar and a library. And yeah, there's no way in hell I'm picking up all of these books. That's just not going to happen. Tell you what, though, I am none too fond of the fact that there are spider webs in here. Spider webs generally means the creature that created the web is not too far away. I'm sincerely hoping that is not the case. It's a crooked door. I don't think I can get in there, but I will take all of this. Nice. Well, I'm going to make out like a bandit. Pardon the pun, considering this is the path of the thief. Or... Here's my other conspiracy theory. Maybe this is a test of greed. And maybe I'm failing the test. Hmm. Why is there a ladder here? You know, something tells me there are probably traps in here that I need to watch out for. So, yeah, we're going to be on our guard. I mean, so far, everything's been, you know, 
pretty sedate. There have been no enemies that I've seen. Although in ruins like this, I would not be too, su too surprised if there are traps. Look at that. There's a little bit of light shining through. Wait, why is it daylight if it's the middle of the night? Yeah, something's not right here. Where in the hell am I? And what is down there? Looks like a door or something? Hmm, we'll check that out in a second here. Is there anything on the other side, perhaps? You know, like maybe a treasure chest that I can pick up? Let's see what we got. I don't see anything down there. What about up here? Aha! My hunch was right. Okay. And it's an expert lock. No problem for lock pick pro. Just gotta move it right there. Pretty sure I know what we're gonna get. Oh, wow! We've actually got more stuff in this one. Holy crap! I sincerely hope I've got enough carry weight for all of this by the time I'm done with this place. Oof! See, this is where the girls come in handy, because I can use one of them as a pack mule. But, um, yeah, that is not an option, because that lady told me I need to do this alone. Which I am still none too pleased about. Alright, I guess we just hop down. Any treasure over here? Yep, sure enough. Okay, I will take your goodies. Alright. So far, I am really liking this. However, I probably should save. So, you know what? Before we go through this door, let's do that. Let's go ahead and save really quick. Okay, now that we've saved, we can go ahead and open the door. And see what awaits us inside. Man, this place is run down. It kind of reminds me of the Skyrim dungeons, except not quite. Oh, and look at that. Yeah. My hunch was right on that, too. There are traps in here. See, there's a tripwire going across. All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do some, what I call, preventative maintenance here. I am going to make sure that I have Thunderbolt on the left hand. I do. And we're going to spring the trap. That's what I thought. Perfect. Okay, so that's no longer an issue. And what do we have up here? Alright, clearly this is blocked off. Ooh, I see our buddy, the gray fox. So more than likely, this is the room that we need to end up in. Except, why is there a sleeping bag on the floor? Huh. I hope this isn't like a time-related puzzle. That could get interesting. All right, before we go down there, I want to see what's on this side. Keep an eye out for more of those uh, spike traps. Uh, you know what? I think this is the room with the Gray Fox bust. Yeah, there he is up there. Okay. But clearly, I can't get up there from here huh they thought of everything can't cheat your way up unless you use like uh what is the code for that tcl or something like that tgm no that's god mode i think which i never use those codes because a lot of those codes really don't work in vr they will crash you to desktop so it's kind of pointless all right i'm still a little bit leery about these traps here and i'm pretty sure there's probably more awaiting us all right, but we'll continue heading down. Man, this place is a mess. Whew! Somebody call a janitor. All right, what do we have in here? Another big room with a staircase in the middle. And looks like another blocked off area. Hmm. Okay. If I had to guess, I would say there are probably switches or levers that I need to open that up. And I do see that trap, so let me see if I can do my preventative maintenance again. 
There we go. So that way we won't have to worry about it because I'm fairly certain we're going to need to go through there at some point. Just need to find the right levers. Uh, any treasure, perhaps? I don't see anything here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yep, there it is. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here. Might as well look on this side just to make sure. Drop down here. And this one's an expert lock. A oh, little too much. There we go. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, good deal. All right, so I believe we were going to head this away. We'll see what awaits us on that side. I like being meticulous when it comes to my uh, dungeon running, so I will usually check like every nook and cranny just to make sure that there's no treasure that I'm missing. Especially in this place where you seem to get a lot of different treasures. Oh, yeah. And look at that. You see that, right? A raised stone. How much you want to bet? That is the trigger for that. So we're just going to avoid that at all costs. And we'll head up here. There's another trap door waiting for us up here. Okay, here's our lever that we were looking for. So let's see. That looks to be the raised stone there. So we're going to bypass that. And can I hit the lever with my sword? Come on, baby. There you go. Excellent. And that did not trigger that trap. And what do we have behind here? Unlock. Master. Hmm. Easy enough. I know it's definitely cheating, folks, but I've mentioned before on this channel a number of times the main reason why I use Lockpick Pro is because I absolutely hate lockpicking. So if I can cut some time out of the video without having to edit, yeah, that is exactly why I use Lockpick Pro. And look at this. We've got a big treasure chest. So wait, does that mean we are just about at the end of the dungeon? I'm going to go with no, because that is some really weak treasure. It doesn't appear that it was a trap. Is there anything up here that I missed, maybe? Um, hmm. I'm going to hop up here and check it out. Nope, that is a dead end. This is also a dead end. So the only thing that was in this room was that? There's not even anything up there. Huh. That was kind of anticlimactic. I hope that's not the end of the dungeon, then. All right, we'll head back this way. And we'll bypass that. So we know that at least one of those gates opened up. The question is which one. And we'll watch out for that stone there. Aha! It was that one. Okay. Well, that would make sense. So then, if I had to continue guessing, I would say that the lever for the other gate, the first gate that we passed, is probably somewhere in this room. Good thing we disabled that trap, huh? Would be funny if they put a stone after that uh, little trip wire there. Thankfully, they didn't. Otherwise, that would have been embarrassing for me. All right, what do we have here? Mm, empty corridor. More empty corridor. And a room. Okay, well, what do we have in here? Treasure chest, I see you. Wardrobe, I see you. What is in you? Belted tunic? Nope, do not want. Treasure chest, however we'll take. Ooh, another one of Chow's journals. All right. Well, this is great. Let's go ahead and read this just like we did the last one. Chow's journal, volume two. Sancritor, would you have guessed that we would be back? Sancritor, the legendary site created by Queen Alessia during the first era. And yeah, we know all about Queen Alessia. We were in Maslea. Sancritor, the place where Talos defeated the Nordic invaders. Wait, what? 
I thought, I thought Talos was a Nord. Or am I getting my history wrong? Hmm. Sancritor, the King's Amulet Fortress. That I remember from ESO, because uh, that's where the Amulet of Kings was hidden. Here, one of the most important champion's quests took place. He retrieved Tiber Septim's armor. Well, I guess Tiber Septim with a name like that. Yeah, he was Imperial. He wasn't Nord. So how did the Nords end up worshipping him? I don't get it. I don't get it. An essential instrument in defeating in the defeat of Maroon's Dagon and in the shutdown of the gates to Oblivion. Martin Septim, the illegitimate son of Emperor Uriel Septim VII, had asked for the blood of a godlike well. Of a godlike. Full stop. Man, I can't read anymore. Sheesh. Well, who better than Tiber Septim, commonly known in all Tamriel as Talos, the Ninth Divine? So the armor, hardened by thousands of battles, was the vessel to obtain the blood of Talos, the Divine. To get the armor, the champion had to free the spirits of the Blades agents captured by Zurich Arctus, the instrumental traitor in Uriel Septim's downfall. Now it's your turn, Dragonborn. I hate when he talks to me. Killing is not advised. Okay. That's not how a proper thief is supposed to act. You won't need it anyway. Look around this place. Four of the champion's old friends are waiting for you. Well, okay then. Killing is not advised. So we're going to need to pickpocket. Huh. That could be bad. Folks, I am not a thief. Like I'd mentioned before, I've never been a part of any Thieves Guild quests or anything like that. And here's our boy. Looks like he is just decoration. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. I do like that map of uh, Cyrodiil there. Look, they even marked out Sancritor there. So, okay. Using what we know, based on the adventures that we've had here on YouTube. So we've got Bruma up there. And just outside of the border to Bruma, between Bruma and Carl, is Sancritor. So, am I led to believe that is literally where we are right now? It would seem so. Which is kind of cool, because Sancritor is not yet in uh, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. It's just outside the walls. You can visit it if you disable the borders in Skyrim. But there's nothing to see. And why am I clicking? Ooh. Activate raised stone. Okay. Let's do it. Well, something just opened up. There's some more lockpicks, too, while we're at it. Do I really need them, though? I don't believe I do. So, you know what? I'm going to leave them alone. Okay. I'm guessing that's all we needed to do was push that stone so I'm going to head back to that first room because I have a funny feeling that may have been just what we needed to open up the pathway to where that sleeping bag was bearing in mind I still don't know the purpose of that sleeping bag I guess I don't need my weapons activated so we'll go ahead and put that away they didn't say anything about any magic, and I didn't see any hints like uh, we got in that room of fire where it left us the hint beforehand that we needed to use clairvoyance. So, not quite sure what's coming next. Although, let's think about this logically here. According to the clues, they mentioned something about the blades and not killing people. So, does that mean we're going to go up against, like... I don't know, descendants of blades or something like that? Am I going to need to fight Delphine in here? Because I've been itching for a fight with Delphine. I do not like her. Not after that whole Parthenax incident. Get the four keys. Okay, then. Let's see what our boy has to say. Hello, Gray Fox. I'm here. The quest of Sancritor begins again. Four are the doors. Four are the blades. Four are the keys. One thief steals the keys. One thief opens the door with the keys. 
Oh, wow. So we've got four locks here. This is obviously the door it would open. And sure enough, we've got four doors. Now, what do those consist of? Joffrey's rooms. Cyrus's rooms. Baragon's rooms. Captain Stefan's rooms. Okay, okay, so these must all be blades then. All right, um, you know what? I have no idea what my sneak skill is, so let's check that really quick. I know I like using sneak, but I don't think I have it at 100. Lock picking, of course, is 100. Sneak is 75. Oh, no. Pickpocket. Yeah, I've never really done any pickpocketing. But you know what? I think I do have some armor in my inventory or maybe some jewelry that I might be able to equip. Because I usually carry around random stuff just in case I have a weird quest where I need to pickpocket someone. Like uh, one quest from Wormstooth had me pickpocket. Uh, what the heck is the guy's name? The rich merchant in solitude that's always hanging out at uh, Elisif's court. I had to steal something from him, which was pretty much the only time I've ever stole anything. All right, um, let's see, what do I have? I'm going to sort this by stuff here. Okay, eminent smithing, that was what I had on when I started this whole quest, because I was doing some armor crafting, most notably the armor that the girls are wearing. Ah, here we go, silver emerald necklace, pickpocket success 40%, sneaking is 40%. We'll go ahead and equip that. Uh, this is my magic clothes. This is my swim trunks. Don't ask me why I've got armor and weapon improvement on my swim trunks. I should have breathe underwater. But it is what it is. Alright, what's the enchantment on this? Magicka. Okay, yeah, I don't think I will need that. Uh, what about this? Ah, here we go. Pickpocket success 40% better and 40% better sneaking. So 80% plus 20, I should have 100% success then, right? We're going to test that theory. I think that's it. I think that's all I have. Okay, let's um, head back up to skills and see if that does anything. It really doesn't. It doesn't add to my skills. Yeah, this could get interesting. Okay, first things first, we're going to save, and then I think what we'll do is we'll run clockwise around the room, and we'll see if we can grab all four keys. No idea who we've got to grab them from. All I know is we can't kill them. So, with that in mind, let's save. Okay, and I guess we'll start with uh, this guy here. What is his name? Joffrey. All right, Joffrey. I should probably go into sneak mode. Now, here's the thing. Since I'm using a movement mod, my sneaking skill is moving a lot slower than it would normally. So that may tend to drag out the video a little bit. But I need to figure out who it is that we are robbing here. Uh, I don't see anybody. I don't hear anybody. And I certainly don't want to yell, hello, is anybody home? Yeah, there is no one here. Who the heck am I supposed to steal from? Or more to the point, where am I supposed to steal it from? Uh, Bueller? I don't 
don't see anyone in here. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, there's definitely someone in here. That is a ghost. That is a ghost of a blades. Question is, is he going to stay seated long enough for me to sneak up behind him and pickpocket him? I'm going to extend my arm as long as it can go. Okay, what's my percentage? 90% chance to steal? Mine. And let's back out the room. Back out the room. Whew. Okay, one down. I'm listening for footsteps behind me here. I'm glad there's no music in here because that would throw me off. So the only thing you're hearing is me talking and my footsteps. And hopefully not his. All right, he shouldn't be able to see me even if he comes down the stairs. So I'm going to stop sneaking. And I'm going to run. All right, so we got this key. Good. Whew, okay, one down, three to go. All right, so we'll continue clockwise. Once again, I'm gonna save. So sorry for all the various jump cuts and fade to blacks and everything, but each time I grab a key, I wanna make sure I save my progress just in case I gotta redo the whole dang thing. Okay, Monty, we're ready for door number two, Cyrus. All right, Cyrus, where are you hiding? Now that I know that you guys are all ghosts of blades, you're going to be easier to locate. Hopefully also easier to steal from. And I'm deliberately not going to talk much just so I can hear what's going on around the corner. All I hear is fire. Now I'm sure there's probably like treasure chests or something in here that I could also be looting. However, yeah, I think my main goal is making sure I grab the keys and get out of this area. Uh, it would figure I gotta open this lock. Hopefully he did not hear that. Oh, he is currently sitting. Ooh, he did not see me. How did he not realize that I just opened that? Oh, crap. Here he comes. Where the hell is he going? Now that he's out of the room... You know what I'm going to do. It's the way of the thief, man. All right. I want the money. I don't want anything else. Trying not to get too greedy here. Oh, Amulet of Mara. I'll take it. Potions I can sell. Strong box. What's in it? Oh, yeah. Always good stuff in a strong box. Watch him come up behind me and be like, what are you doing? Okay, now where did he go? Ooh, right there, right there, okay. Now the real question is gonna be, how long is he gonna be sitting there? That's what's going to eat up time. I have no idea what his pathing is like. So I could be kneeling here for several minutes before he even does anything. Sounds like he's eating. Let me peek around the corner here. Yeah, he can't see me. Oh, he's getting up. He's getting up. 
and I'm going to park myself over here against the wall. Perfect. Okay, now's my chance. Pickpocket, don't fail me now. 90% chance of steal. Mine. And slowly back out of the room. Try not to get stuck on the wall while I'm at it. Okay. Two down. Two to go. Whew. And as soon as I get into that hallway, I'm going to stop sneaking and just run. Because I can still hear him working at alchemy table. So as long as he's busy doing that, he is not going to hear me leaving. Nice. Nice. Okay. So once again, we are going to save. And then we'll hit door number three. All right, so we have saved. We're now ready for door number three, and this is Baragon's rooms. All right, I'm gonna get into stealth again. So yeah, it looks like those uh, bits of jewelry are actually helping me. I feel good about this. All right, usually I will pick the left-hand path when the path diverges. My luck, they probably go in the same place. Where is our boy? Ooh, he's got ingots. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. He's working the enchanting table. Is he planning on staying there? Mm, I don't know. How about... Yeah, we'll go this way. Oh, we can't go this way. All right, I'm going to go for it. 90% to steal. Got it. Whew! Almost got caught. As much as I really want those ingots, I'm going to leave them alone. I would rather get out of here with the key than risk it all grabbing those beautiful ingots. I'm sure I'll get more because we seem to find them in like every single treasure chest, so I'm okay with that. All right, we're out of here. Okay, and one more time with the save. Okay, so we have one more place to check. This is Captain Stefan's rooms. Okay, Captain, prepare to get robbed. All right, let's see what the good Captain has. Oh, his room is windy. And his door is closed. Looks like our friend the captain was a musician. Hmm, interesting. This is not locked, however. All right, let's go into stealth. Hello, captain, where are you? Oh, you are right there. You are right there. Okay, I don't know if he can see down here or if his line of sight is limited. Now, the other question is, is he going to come down here or is he like permanently stuck up there? That could complicate things if he can come down here. I would assume he could. I'm pretty sure his pathing has him staying up there because there's an awful lot for him to do up there. I saw a tanning rack and I'm almost certain I saw a forge or something. All right, where is our boy? I'm just gonna peek up really quick here. Yeah, there is a forge there. And there he is. Okay, yeah, there's no way in hell I'm gonna be able to get up there unless he moves to either the forge or the tanning rack. Uh, if only there was something I could stand on and reach up there. I don't think that treasure chest is tall enough. Hope he doesn't hear that. All that for nine gold. 
What about the other? Can I reach the other? Sure can. I'm not going to get the pelts because pelts tend to add up really, really quickly as far as weight. And yeah, I'm trying to avoid all of that. Okay, dude, if you would be so kind as to move. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Now, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Ah, he's on a tanning rack. Okay, now's my chance. Thankfully, the tanning rack makes enough noise that I can hear exactly where he is. All right, 90% chance of steel, mine. And fade off into the sunset. Now, the real question is, is he going to be able to see me once I come around this corner? Or is the tanning rack going to block his field of view? I'm going to go with the ladder, but just to be on the safe side, I'm going to continue sneaking until I get all the way around and into the hallway. And then I'll close the door and we will be good to go. I hope. Oh, yeah, he's definitely blocked. He can't see me. All right, perfect. Nothing happened, man. It's just a bad undead dream. All right, I'm out of here. Bye. Success. Whew. Okay. Well, I got to admit that was definitely challenging. I think what I will do is I will make one final save and then we'll move on to wherever it is that we've got to go next. All right, so we've done our save, and I happened to check the time as well while I was on a save screen. It is 6 in the morning. Tanya is really going to freaking kill me. All right, we got the keys, buddy. So, voila. I love it. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, and what's waiting for us behind door number, what would this be, 6? Oh, great. It would freaking figure. Although I do notice there is something on the ceiling there. Oh, wow. What? These are tombs. Holy crap. Ooh, and there's money. All right. Let me see if I can get the gold without getting the basket. See, this is where I need to reinstall Higgs. I had it going, but... I was having some issues with it. I didn't like the way that it was performing, so I ended up uninstalling Higgs. If you're curious as to what Higgs is, it basically allows you to physically interact with just about everything in Skyrim. So instead of my actually just trying to mouse over with my touch controller and then grabbing this gold, I could use like a telekinetic ability that's built into Higgs to pull the gold into my physical hand here. So that's how that works. And then of course, there's another thing called Plank that works with NPCs. So imagine if you will, dancing with your follower or basically dragging them by the hand and pulling them out of the way if they're blocking you in a dungeon, which I would totally abuse that considering the fact that the girls are always blocking me in in dungeons. All right, I'm going to grab all this gold and then I will read any inscriptions on the things. I'm pretty sure there probably is. That seems to be par for the course with this quest mod is anything that's fancy has some kind of pop up to it. Yep, see there we go. Tomb inscription. Here lies, or here rest, Glenroy. Ooh, Glenroy! There's a name I know. Remember episode 12 of the Bruma series when we had to go into, um, what the heck was the name of that place? The Old Blades place? Glenroy sacrificed his life to protect the Emperor Uriel Septim VII. I still have Glenroy's Akaviri. 
27th day, last seed, year 433 of the Third Era. Okay. Well, rest in peace, Glenroy. Thanks for the sword. Here rests Captain Renault. She has sacrificed her life to protect the Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh. 27th day, last seed, year 433, year 30. Okay, so same day. Basically, both of them gave their lives on the same day. Nice. All right, now, here's a real question. Uh, can I hit that? I guess I should try my sword. Yep, here we go. Here we go. And as expected, another portal. Okay, but before we go through the portal, let us see if there's any treasure. And sure enough, there is. I will take all of that. That kind of sort of makes up for my not being able to take the ingots earlier. All right, so like before, before we go through, we are going to save once more. All right. So we've done our save, and we're ready to hop into the next level. However, I think I'm going to save that for the next video, because we've been through a lot so far. Alrighty, folks, so thank you as always for watching. This has been Belgeode. I have been playing through the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. As always, the list of mods that I use will be in the video description below. When we come back in the next episode, we will see what else... The wily gray fox has for me to go through before I can actually get his cowl of nocturnal. Alrighty folks, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will chat with you next Sunday for some more Skyrim Sunday. Ciao!